there, museum goers. Have you ever picked up a kidney bean and just stared at it? Well, I have. It's cool because they actually look a lot like one of your body's organs. Any guesses about which one it is? If you guess kidneys, you're absolutely right. My name is Holly Ann Stewart, and I study art and design at the University of Michigan. I really like art, but I also love learning about how the human body works. I use my art to help people learn about science. So, what actually are your kidneys? Well, they're a pair of super cool organs located inside your body. And if you've ever seen or eaten a kidney bean, then you know exactly what they look like. But your kidneys are much bigger than beans. They're about the size of your clenched fist or computer mouse. Your next question is probably, where are your kidneys? Here's a cool trick for finding them. Put your hands on your hips. Slowly slide your hands up until you can feel your ribs. Your kidneys are right around where your thumbs are now. So why do we need our kidneys anyways? Well, your kidneys have a million jobs. Okay, maybe not a million, but they do have a lot. They do everything from keeping your bones healthy to controlling what goes in your blood. And just like your brain, lungs, and heart, your kidneys are really important and they never take a break. So how do they work? In this activity, we're going to learn about how the kidneys clean your blood and get rid of waste. Things your body doesn't need. This process is called filtering. But what exactly is a filter? Filters come in all different shapes and sizes, but they all have one thing in common. They sort things and get rid of waste. You can think of filtering as a way of cleaning something. Most faucets have a built-in filter, which helps keep your tap water clean. The filter in your dryer traps all the fuzzies from your clothes so that your favorite sweater doesn't turn into a giant fur ball. Even cars have filters. This funky contraption helps clean the air so that dirt doesn't get inside the engine. Those are some pretty cool filters. For this activity, we're going to be using a simple household coffee filter. You'll also need two clear cups or small containers, one popsicle stick or another stirring device, a bottle of yellow food coloring, one teaspoon of salt, a small sponge or a piece cut off of a larger sponge, a handful of red or pink beads, and a handful of beads that are a different color. I chose green beads. Feel free to pause this video so you can gather your materials, or just sit back and watch. Let's get started. Move one of the cups so that it's right in front of you. We'll pretend that this cup is your bladder, the organ that collects urine from your kidneys. Open your coffee filter and put it inside the cup. We'll pretend that the coffee filter is one of your kidneys. We said that your kidneys were filters, but what exactly do they filter? They filter your blood, which contains many different things like water, blood cells, nutrients from the food you eat, ions like sodium and potassium, gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, and waste products. Now it's time to bring in your beads. We're going to pretend that the red or pink beads are blood cells, and the other colored beads are nutrients. And into the kidney they go. We're also going to add the sponge but we'll talk about this later. Now let's add some color, because everything's better with color, right? Fill up your other container with about one cup of water. Then, add one small drop of yellow food coloring. And use your popsicle stick or other stirring device to mix in the color until it's nice and even. Now that looks like pee, or to be more scientific, urine. But why is urine yellow? The yellow color of urine comes from a special chemical called urobilin, also known as urochrome. But the lightness or darkness of urine depends on how much water you've been drinking, and this is called hydration. If you've been drinking enough water, your urine should be clear or very light yellow. The less water you drink, the more dehydrated you get, and the darker the color of your urine will be. Now that we've added some color, it's time to get salty. Add one teaspoon of salt to the cup of colored water and gently stir in the salt. Salt, also called sodium, comes from salty foods like chips, pretzels, and soup. Your body needs some salt to survive, but too much can be bad. Good thing your kidneys help you filter it out of your blood. Now that we've got everything set up, it's time to let the filtering begin. Pour about one third of the colored water into the coffee filter. 
As soon as you do this, use two hands to carefully pick up the coffee filter. Watch as the colored water drains through the coffee filter and into the cup below. Repeat this process and slowly add the rest of the water in separate increments. So what just happened? What was able to go through the coffee filter? And what stayed behind? And what does this mean about urine? Feel free to pause this video and take a moment to talk about it with your family or friends. We saw how the blood cells and nutrients stayed behind in our makeshift kidney. This is good, because we need those things to stay inside our body. But the salt and the colored water were able to go through the filter and into the cup below, which represented our bladder. This tells us that urine is mostly water, about 96% to be specific, with about 2% of salt. The remaining 2% is made up of something called urea. We didn't talk about this before, but when you eat foods with protein, like meat, fish, eggs, and cheese, your body breaks the protein down into smaller parts, and urea is one of these parts. Remember when I told you to put the sponge in and we would talk about it later? Well, that time has come. Pick up the sponge and squeeze out the excess water. So, is there a sponge in your kidneys? No. Your kidneys don't actually have sponges, but they do have special structures that help save or absorb water. This helps you stay hydrated and feel good. So hopefully you've come to realize that your kidneys are some pretty amazing organs. Now maybe you'll understand why I spent so much time staring at kidney beans. Thank you so much for watching this video, and please continue to stay safe and healthy during this difficult time. Hope to see you back at the museum soon.